Uh, we've got our play on Freeze MND Beanies on. Um, some people wear a beanie well and others don't. Mm. You've got a bit of enough about you. You've got a lot of enough about no, you. No, you have. No, you have. I'm looking at you. I wear beanie all the time. Yeah, but it doesn't look good on no, you. No, it looks all right. No, it doesn't. Yours doesn't look. You've got it pulled down too hard over your eyes or something. Well, I'll adjust it then. <laughs> there you go. I'll yeah. make the adjustment. And you've taken your Freeze MND beanie off? Not too hot. No, because you, you don't look good in a beanie. That's okay. You look good in that hat you got on now, but you don't wear a beanie that well. And I, nor do you, I, I by the way. It's the shape of your head, I think. Well, have a look at you. <laughs> I don't, I think have a look at you, Playdead. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Playdead? What's a that mean? Circle. You, you get a very round. You got a very round scone. I didn't realise that. <laughs> you put the beanie on. Plain head. That's extraordinary. <laughs> oh, the only other one that I wanted to talk to you about was uh, John O'Brien. I've been meaning to talk yes. to you about this for a while. What do you want? How did he get the four and twenty gig? But uh, he's had it for a while. Well, well how well, did you he get and, it though? Well, you and I were great four and twenty uh, ambassadors there. Oh, I well, be, well before him. I won't be eating any more of their pies. I know. Well, that. what about you? Unless I get it, I gave him a, a mention the other day on the uh, show. I haven't seen a delivery yet. He says they're a great organisation. So good on the four and twenty. Oh, what does that mean? What's that code must for? Must be getting lots of pies. <laughs> oh, Nothing for the charity. You, uh, you've got a mentoring business, a media mentoring business, and uh, there's a lot of young people out there that pay a monthly subscription <laughs> and uh, you give them advice. Nick Revolt's still under your wing. I need to know from you this morning, what is going on? He signed up. Nick Revolt, mm -hmm. everybody, has signed up for a reality TV series, Celebrity MasterChef. He's gone rogue. Did he speak to you about this? He's gone rogue. He didn't speak to you? About this? No. You're Surprise. Joking. You're joking. No, all the time you spend with him, I think he's. All the time you spent mentoring him, I think him, he knew what I'd say. And what would you have said? Steer clear of the celebrity genre. The uh, what do you call it? The uh, reality TV celebrity genre. I can't believe that he's doing this. But he's jumped in. He's. A, I tell you what, he is a foodie. He loves his food. I don't know if he can cook for Adam, but because he, he loves his food, he's a good. He, I tell you what, he's the best eater I've seen. Ah, uh, yeah. But you know him. You know him really yes, well. Yes, I do. When he commits to something, he'll be very, very <laughs> serious. In fact, how serious will I'd he be, be about this? I'd be surprised if he hasn't locked into Shannon Bennett or someone over the last oh. month. When he, once he committed a month ago, he would have, he would have had someone that where he would be having some private lessons. He'd be, in, he'd, be in knee, he'd be in knee deep in cooking books this yep. morning. That's what he'd be doing. He he'd be up already, this wouldn't he? Damaging. Well, it could be if it doesn't go well. You go to the snow. I wanted to ask you this. No, I went to the snow once. Are we on holidays next week or the week after? The week after. Should we go to the snow, a little day trip, you and I? No, you can go up there. Why not? I'm not interested. I've been one, I don't like the cold. I do, it's just too cold. We'll get a, we'll get a jacket for you. Mm, I don't can know. you ski? Oh, can I ski? <laughs> One leg in Ken. the air. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I was on barefoot after about half an hour. <laughs> That's how good I was. Good thing you can do. You don't even have to ski. You just go up to the mountain, mm. get yourself a coffee, and go and sit on the side and watch people try to ski. <laughs> it's as gay. It's as good a fun as you have for the day. You know, the black run. Oh, yeah, I'll get to go with that. And then you stand up on the top of a mountain, you look down. I will tell you a story. You know how I, I've got stories. <laughs> This is about Hutchie ski. <laughs> <laughs> Away Hutchie, you go. No, I, I'm going to, I don't want to, um, because it does, it sounds stupid. But does it? You, you can get yourself, all I'll say this is mm -hmm. you can get yourself into a lot of trouble uh, on a on a mountain that you're not familiar with. And 100%. I, saw the, I saw the snow ambulance go past <laughs> Up in, in Aspen <laughs> with a very familiar face on the back of it. <laughs> on the subject of fashion, you can help me out here because Steve has been uh, wearing his three quarter length wool coat, which is a mm. very nice coat, right? It's mm. a lighter colour, like a lighter nice colour. Well, it's from Rod and Gun. It's a very nicely made right. coat, right? So right. I started to give him a little bit. You know how you and I muck around. I said, "Oh, gee, you've been given, oh, you've been given that coat a nice old workout." <laughs> you know, I've been hearing a lot of people think you've only got one coat, right? So I throw, <laughs> he's got it on at work, right? I throw, I throw to him last night. He's out the front of the AFL house. Mm -hmm. No coat. He's ditched the he's coat. Taken it to heart. <laughs> he's ditched the coat. Oh, Tim. And then That's the cameraman, the cameraman pans around, and there's a coat. It's lying on the ground. He's, <laughs> He's taking, that's workplace bullying. You're bullying. No, that's Steve workplace o. fun. 
That is nah. workplace fun. Yeah, there's, nothing, man <laughs> there's nothing bullying about that. <laughs> anyway, I said, look, we'll take up a, a collection for you. We'll see if we can't get you another coat that you can alternate with right through the winter. And Michael, yes, that would be my favourite karaoke song to sing to. What? Sweet Caroline. <laughs> Sweet Caroline. Now, what about this? Bum, bum, bum. Bob and Andy. Mm-hmm. What have they done? Two blokes I love. I love them both. I have a call from their producer, Jules de Stoopster. He says, can I come on yesterday at, he gave me two times, 4.10 or 5.10 to do something for you, to talk about something on their program. What? It doesn't matter what. So, I then go rearranging a schedule yesterday that was pussy's bow. That's how full I was yesterday. I <laughs> juggled, I rejigged, I threw out, I rang people. I so, Thursday's your mentoring day, isn't that's, it? That's one of my biggest mentoring days. So... After a, a rejigging of an hour, 12, 15 phone calls, I go mm. back to Jules to Stoop. No problem, mate. 410, 510, you tell me which one. I've, that's how much I've rejiggled. Yeah, Jules. Straight away. I should not read this. Wait, what? So did you commit to the 410 or the 510? I, I rejigged that much. I said either, right? Yeah. So then I get this back, and I want, I'd like to get your thoughts on this because I don't know how to take it. Well, I do know how to take it, if I could find it. Sorry, mate. We have had to throw things around. We'll do it next week. Can I lean on you for next week? It must have been a pressing matter. If footballers were biscuits, uh, who would they be? They won't get a second chance. Do, f- they, do they know who they're dealing with a here? A ferocious rejigging. <laughs> do they know who they very they know? busy schedule. And I get... <laughs> Sorry, what is it? Sorry, mate. We've had to throw things around. <laughs> I Nothing for the old Garrity. I, couldn't, mm. I could not believe my eyes. What about uh, a dollar wrap at the end of each week? Would you like to see that back or not? Well, without G-Money. Well, I'm only reading the text out. It doesn't mention uh, G-Money. I'm not sure that G-Money's hit the spot. No, he hits the spot, all right. <laughs> he hits the spot. He gets straight to the point. <laughs> What happens is T-Dollar waffles, G-Money goes bang.